Hey carnivores, temperature fluctuations in your smoker can kill your cook, especially in long cooks. But I don't have that problem because I have a tool that allows me to maintain temperature throughout even my long cooks. So I get to sleep when I'm cooking all night. You wanna see how I do it? Stick around. Hey carnivores, if you've been here before, you've seen me cook on the extra large big green egg named Darth, maybe you've seen me cook on the large big green egg named Luke, and you've seen me use the Thermoworks signals here and the Thermoworks bellows fan to control the temperature of the cook and to monitor the temperature of the meat. So a couple of you have asked about these products. A few of you have actually bought them using our affiliate links and thank you very much for supporting the channel. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk about that. If you're new here and you haven't seen all of that, Eat More Vegans is a channel all about meat. I cook grain and grass-fed cows I cook uh, chickens that were raised on corn and pigs that were field raised and goats and lamb and anything else you can think of. All those animals were raised as vegans and I show you the best way to cook and eat them. So welcome to Eat More Vegans. If you're not a subscriber or a follower, I hope you'll subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, anywhere else that you can find us. Really appreciate you engaging. So let's talk about the product real quick. I'm gonna do a quick overview of the components. So this is the Signals. It's a four channel thermometer. So you can use it with any grill or any cook or frankly in the oven if you want. It's got four ports for uh, thermometers and uh, temperature probes and I'll show you how we use those temperature probes. It can run on power but it's also got a rechargeable battery so if you're not operating the fan just keep it charged. You can uh, use it on a moment's notice not have to worry about having power by your grill. The uh, It comes with the power adapter. It also comes with a temperature probe here that is the pit probe and a little clip that you can use that this goes through that will uh, hold it right to your grate and that way you always know what the grate temperature is. And then it also comes with three of these Pro Series food temperature probes. They've got a four foot cord on them, which is uh, which is plenty long for most cases. As you see, I usually use the signals, just sit it right next to Darth. But if you want something uh, longer, you wanna go farther away, they actually sell an extension cord uh, that you can use for this that works just fine. And you can also buy other probes. You've probably seen me use these with smaller cuts of meat. So this is a Pro Series short probe uh, that you can get right off of the Thermalworks site. Um, so the combination of those probes and the signals is all about monitoring the pit temperature, monitoring the food temperature. Now the signal sells for about 230 bucks. Uh, retail, they do have sales periodically. This is the Billows fan. The Billows fan costs about $60. It connects to the Thermoworks signals or the SmokeX if you're using the SmokeX uh, set of uh, temperature monitors. You set the temperature that you want the pit on the signals and when the temperature is too low, the fan runs and drives air in, keeping the temperature up. If the temperature starts to go up, the fan stops, cutting off the airflow to the grill and letting the temperature come back down. And it does it with a really gentle breeze so you're never generating dirty smoke just because you're using this. So let me show you how this connects to the grills. Hey, you guys want to see something cool? I'm filming this on Thursday, December 10th, 2020. And look what just happened. We just crossed 75,000 views for the channel, which is pretty incredible with about 1400 subscribers today. So thank you all of you for your support in getting this way. Look forward to having you watch a lot more of our videos going forward. All right, let's get back to talking about the thermal works. All right, so as you can see, I've got the signals plugged into power here. I've got power run out near the grill, and I'm gonna start by getting the grill lid. So I've got the lid to the grill uh, wide open, and I'm gonna open up uh, the vents completely down uh, underneath. And then I've got another part that we didn't really talk about earlier. Uh, this is an adapter, and they sell these adapters separately from the billows so that you can get one for the right grill. They got them for a pit barrel cooker, they've got a universal adapter, a couple threaded adapters, really whatever you need to connect to a grill. And the billows just snaps right into the mounting bracket here. And then I just slide it right in here and it's built to fit on these Kamados right in there. And then I'm gonna close the screen but leave the rest of the vent open because while we get started, we're gonna be driving uh, air into grill and letting it come up to speed on its own. So let's go ahead and get this lit. If you've been here before, you also know how I light grills. If you wanna see a video about these uh, grill guns from Grill Blazer, uh, I'll put a link uh, in the description at the end of the video. Okay, the grill's lit. I'm gonna put the grate on 
And then I'm gonna put the pit temperature probe right on the grate, it just clips right on. And then I'm gonna plug it into port four on the signals. And I'm gonna close the lid and we're gonna go ahead and let it come up to, uh, come up to temperature. Let's, uh, let's set a goal of 225 degrees because we do a lot of smoking at 225 degrees. So I'll be right back when we get to that time. Okay, as you can see on the signals as well as on the app, we're approaching 200 degrees, getting close to our target temperature, so it's a good time to get the signal started. So I'm gonna start by closing down my cap to about where I would keep it if I was doing this manually at 225. And then I'm also gonna close down the rest of the vent so that the only air coming in is coming in through the fan. I'm gonna plug the fan in uh, here at the fan end and then the other end of the cable I'm gonna plug into the splitter here and the Thermalworks is going to recognize it immediately and it's gonna set my high and low alarms to 25 degrees either side of 225. If I wanted to change the temperature, I would just change it right here and hit save. But we like 225, so we'll keep that. And now it's gonna take about five minutes to bring it up to 225. I'm gonna let it run for a while so that you guys can see how steady it keeps the temperature. I'll be back in about 20 minutes and I'll show you the graph of what it looks like. All right, so we've been running for about 20 minutes now and let me show you what the graph looks like. As that comes into focus, you can see we started uh, 233 at the top, 218 at the bottom, about eight degrees either direction. And then now it's kind of cycling within five degrees, 230 to 220. And five degrees either way is just fine when you're smoking. That's a great temperature to hold it. Once it dials in all the way, it's gonna keep it to within two or three degrees, which is, you know, kind of overkill, but really fun to have it that accurate. If you guys wanna get one of these, I'd appreciate you using the affiliate links. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll put a link down in the description. If you're watching on one of the other platforms, I'll put it up here on the screen. You can go to bitly.4emv.com slash TW signals to get the signals and from there you'll be able to find the billows and all the other stuff. I appreciate you supporting the channel. I hope you had a good time and you learned something. I hope you end up using the tools that I end up using. So I'm gonna put a link to another video right here where I reviewed the uh, grill gun and sous vide gun from Grill Blazer. If you've already seen that, I'll put another one down here uh, that I think you're gonna enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Eat More Vegan.